new to Autodesk Construction Cloud? Well, in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll walk you through everything you need to know, from setup to smart collaboration, so let's build better together. Now, once you go to their website, and that's construction.autodesk.com, and you can go ahead and view their products. Now, you need to sign up to a demo first, and here you have the different products. So you have the build, takeoff, BIM collaboration, and documents, as well as some additional products here. Now, let's start by trying out the build. Okay, so I need to enter my email and submit it to try the free trial. Now I need to fill in these details to create my account. Okay, now I need to enter the company name, the job title, and a phone number, so I'm gonna add these details pretty quickly. And I'm in. And this is the build part of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. You also have documents, cost management, and insights in this product. So the project progress, you can view the project progress right here in your main home or dashboard. You can view the quick links, the sheets, and the members, the work status, the recent activity, and the site weather, as well as the bridge. Now, if you go to sheets right here, I can see that I have some sheets, initial sheets created for me. If I try to open one of them, you can see here the sheets and you can also interact with it. So drag with your hand here. You can also fit to view and you can zoom the window. So zoom in and out, drag to zoom, drag up to zoom, click and drag up to zoom in, click and drag down to zoom out. Okay, and you can go ahead to the pan tool in order to view the details that you want. And here you have your tools on the right. So here is selection. Here you can draw with a pen or a marker. So I can draw here if I want to highlight like certain parts. And here I can add shapes. Let's add a rectangle and let's add an arrow to highlight this part or this line. You can add text. So here add the text, view this line, for example, you can add, edit the text color, the font size and so on. So let's make it purple and the font size, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, the text is added. Now I can add a cloud, I can add a call out, I can add a polygon or polyline, I can add issues, I can add a photo and I can add measurements as well as a border and fill. Now, this looks pretty good. Let's close this one. And I can view all the other sheets as well. Now here I have my files. Of course, there are no files yet. I can click here to add a file and I can view the folders as well as the packages. Now in the specifications tab, I can view all the specifications. Of course, there aren't any published specifications yet. Now I can view all the issues I can see that there are no issues here on the product. I can click create issue to create an issue, add the details and create it. Now I have also my forms. I can view all the forms or create a form if I want to. I have the photos. I have my RFIs. I have the submittals, which are submitted, the meetings details, the correspondence, schedule, assets, reports, members, bridge, and the settings. Now this was for the build part. Now let's check the docs. Here I can view all my files. I can view all the specifications. I can see the reviews, the transmittals, and the issues, reports, members, bridge, and settings. Now if you go to the cost management part, here is the home. I don't have anything right now. I can view the budget. I can view the cost change the order, I can do the forecast, files, reports, members, and so on. So the form is not set up. This is why I cannot view any of them. However, these are the settings that I have. And finally, let's view the insights. And here I can view the insights in my dashboard. I can view the project address. I can click here to expand it and I can edit the settings as well. Here are my RFIs, the site weather. I can see an overview of the days to come. I can see the issues, the submittals as well right here. Now, if I click on reports, I can see all the reports. Of course, there aren't any right now. I can create a report here. So from detail, from labor summary, issue details, let's say from issue summary. And here are all the report settings, edit the title, 
the file format excel or pdf i can filter it and the group to run the report now let's go back to reports and i can view the report templates as well so here are the templates that are available for me now let's go back to the menu here here is my home so if i go to my home i can view all my projects since this is the only one that is available as i showed you in the previous window now the uh, projects assigned to me the bookmarks recently viewed items as well as the project in the project tab create a project as well as see the sample project here the construction and the project template so if i click here on the project construction it gets me back to the build tab where i can view all the details that i showed you earlier and here i also have the project admin settings and the account admin settings so if i go to the project admin settings i can view the members i can add members right here and for the companies i can see the companies i can add a company this is the trial account company that is added I can view the bridges, I can see the bridged projects, the outgoing and incoming. I also have the handover settings, however this one requires the project admin access. I can view my recent activity, I can view all my notifications or create a notification group if I want to and view the default notification settings or view and edit the settings for the project or the locations. And here I can add a sublocation, remove the location, add permissions, download template, as well as import from Excel or from Revit. And after I just expanded the window a bit, now let's go ahead and click on the Autodesk Construction Cloud button here to go to our home screen. So this is my main home screen and it is the default now. So if I open this project, it'll go right to the budget. So let's try it. And as you can see, it went right to the cost management. Now the budget code format is not set up. I need to contact the project administrator. Let's go back and let's go and see the project templates. And here they say that I'm not a member of any project templates yet. So I can click here to create a project template. Now let's go back to the project. As you can see, the account and the project is created on so the date or project creation date. If I go to my home, I can take a tour of my home they let me do that and i can see all the projects assigned to me my project the recent viewed items bookmarks and everything so these are also some other products to try so the plan grid building connected trade tap and pipe auto specs and i can see here that i have 29 days remaining in my trial and i can view the buying options and lastly if i go here this is my account setting or my profile settings I can click here to view my profile settings and edit them if I want to. So that was pretty much it. A quick overview tutorial of the Autodesk Construction Cloud and its different features and tools that you can use to leverage your construction business.